Kyle Patrick wants to know, is it good to send an email to a college coach to introduce your athlete to them? Um, first thing I'm going to say, Patrick, don't be that dad. Let the student athlete send the email, Kyle, is the first thing I would say. But yes, you want to send an email from a student athlete. That's a great thing that you can do as an eighth grader, as a freshman, to try to get yourself known by as many schools as possible. I liked how you said that. You basically said my first name, two names, Kyle Patrick. That was really nice, uh, my first and middle name. Uh, but, yeah, uh, you can help the student athlete with, with trying to send out that email. Um, I wouldn't send an email for a student athlete because um, a college coach isn't going to be recruiting a parent. The parents are going to be part of the process, of course. As an eighth grader, I wouldn't have been in a place where I could email a college coach or would have really known how to do that. Um, I didn't have an email address until I was probably 19 anyways. Um, so yeah, I mean, help them with that, of course, and, and you can kind of guide them through that process and talk through with them what that email is going to look like, because we don't expect eighth graders to have uh, the five paragraph essay format for an introduction email to a college coach ready to go right away. Um, but yeah, absolutely. I mean, if, if you can help them along that process and, and talk to them about what to do, and that's a big part of what we do as well, is talk about how to send that first email to coaches. That's going to be a great step if you can help foster that contact with them or that initiation at a young age. They'll get more comfortable over with it and be able to take that on moving forward. Christy, what is that impact? When you get emails from student athletes as a college coach, I imagine that's a good thing, right? Because that, that means that the student athlete's showing interest in your school and you're, you're not having to chase people, but you're able to maybe follow up with people. So talk about that from a college coach perspective. When you're getting emails from student athletes, how does that help you with your recruiting? it's so easy, right? Like, yes, we have a list that we're going out to these recruiting sites and saying, well, I, I know these are the student athletes that I want to look at, but then there's also a separate list of, I used to call them write-ins where kids would just simply write into me saying, hey, I'm showing up to the Sony Creek Showcase. Bam, now I can go watch them. Um, I definitely want to hit on the parents stuff because um, Kyle, I might have to disagree with you that coaches aren't recruiting parents because they thousand percent are and what I mean by that is coaches do not want to deal with parents <laughs> we love you guys you have helped your child tremendously and we will forever thank you for bringing your child into this world but college coaches do not want to hear from parents um, it's a job right college sports is a job it's not you know club or high school um, I know that sounds a little bit harsh that they don't want you part of anything but unfortunately that's just the reality of it so when we receive an email from a student athlete again it just goes back to the maturity and we know that they're ready and we know that they've done their research hey everyone thanks for watching click the logo to subscribe to our channel and check out all the other videos on our page for all things recruiting